Good evening, good evening, welcome, welcome, welcome. How y'all doing today? It's uh, Monday, Motivation Monday. It's People to People with Rodney Grimes. I'm excited to be here today, like many other days. Um, Lady Z, you, you had my other hardback book over there. Look inside of it and see if you see the... It, it, you don't have my other book? It was in your bag. Yes. I want, give me the mission statement. You can just hand the whole book to me. That's fine. I thank y'all, everybody that's tuning in. Thank you so much. What I wanted to do before I even get started today, I want to read the PTP uh, uh, mission statement so that you understand um, what we're all about, what our focus is. And, uh, and our topic today is acceptance and forgiveness, um, something we all need to concentrate on, and we're going to get into that. But first of all, uh, I do own the rights to that music, um, the PTP theme song. I own the rights to that. The PTP mission statement. Our focus is to share the positive and important information to our listeners focusing on becoming the voice for the surrounding communities. We want to encourage strong networking relationships between the small business businesses and the larger ones, also connecting the communities, hoping to establish good, strong relationships with them. I am your supporter. Oh, wait a minute. I am your supporting neighborhood attitude is one of our focus. The People to People podcast also believe in sharing the wellness information to empower those listeners about changing their health and lifestyle conditions, having our goals to always be in position to receive the positive information we stand by our core values. People to people, power to power, positive thinking people. We are the, the podcast that really matters and stand for truth, equal opportunity for everyone. Everyone's voice and choice to believe if I can conceive it, then I can achieve it. PTP for life. That's the mission statement. Um, I will make it a point that we will read that uh, pretty much until I can learn it word for word and recite it like a piece of poetry. Um, but uh, good evening to everyone who's joining in. It is uh, People to People with Rodney Grimes. Our topic today is acceptance and forgiveness. That is something very, very important for us to think about and, and pay close attention to. I, I, I want to start off uh, with the, the topic of acceptance. Now, what made me think about this today when I realized that I was going to be in here and we didn't have a, a guest with us today, I was thinking about just how many people out here are trying to do different things on different levels and a lot of people are passing judgment and looking at them and saying, what are they doing and why are they doing this? And, you know, not understanding that some of these people are being who they are. This is what they do. And, and we got to get to a point where it's all about 
uh, accepting people for, you know, what they're made of, what, what their real personalities are. Like if you have a person that talks all the time, you know, and you know when that person comes to the party, you say, oh, Lord, here come Rodney. You know, he loves to talk. Okay? Well, accept me for being that talker because you may be that person that don't say nothing in public but always talking on the telephone or, or in, in the living room, gossiping. You could have your flaws, which people will perceive as a flaw. That's just your part of your personality. But people need to accept people for who they are. You have a person that likes smoke cigarettes. I don't like a woman that smokes cigarettes, and I know many women who don't like men that smoke cigarettes as well. But, you know, if that person smokes, you know, and you're going to be around them, you accept them as a smoker. Now, can you control them when they come to your house? Yes. When they're doing certain things, you can say, yo, we don't allow to smoke here. But you can't be judgmental at a person because they smoke cigarettes. That's them. That's what they do. And that can apply in any area that we, we, we work in. We got to be able to work on the acceptance of who people are. You know, you got some people that are just mean all the time. Really, they're really not mean. A lot of them are just hurting. A lot of them just, you know, are holding a lot of bitterness inside from their past. And people look at them and, and they start passing judgment on them instead of accepting them for who they are. And when they do that, they have a tendency then to be able to see the real person come out. Acceptance is very, very important. A lot of times we sit back and we be judging people from a distance instead of going out and saying, yo, what can I do to help you? We want to be judgmental. We need to accept people for who they are. If you have a little boy that's growing up or a little girl and they're starting to act a little different, are you just supposed to punish them? Or do you start to just love them and accept them for who they are? Can you imagine how many, let's, let's talk about this, how many gay children go through this? Not having that true acceptance when, they, when they're growing up. That they, they, they think something wrong with them. Not everybody is just decide, wake up and say, I want to be gay. I'm not a gay person, but I've talked to many of them that um, have really told me um, and, and shared with me. And some of them struggle with it on a level that is really, really hard. And they want people to just accept them for who they are. You know why I can relate to that? Because I want people to accept me for just being a black man who's, who loves helping people. Sometimes I can go in an area just because of the color of my skin, I don't get accepted. I, we was out of town celebrating my, my, my mother-in-law's uh, uh, birthday. And, and, and I want to say much love and respect to uh, everybody down in Johnston, uh, South Carolina, Saluda, man... Uh, we had a ball. It was amazing. I celebrated my mother-in-law's birthday, and I felt like she is just dancing up there with God and saying, look, that's, that's my family, because we did that very, very well. And, and, and so just shout out to them. But you know, and, and you know what? The, another reason why I even thought about acceptance, because even I, I noticed the people down south, they, a lot of them is really, they accept you for who you are, some of them anyway. But I, what I was going to bring to your attention is one lady we stopped at the south of the border and this, uh, this, uh, this, this white woman was standing there with her arms folded. And I said, I spoke to her and said, how you doing? And she acted like I didn't say anything. And you know what I did? I had to accept her as a person being in whatever position he was in. And let me tell you why I had to accept her. Because for real, for real, I don't even know her. So how I know she wasn't deaf? How I know that she wasn't, bl she wasn't blind? I don't know. But what I did is I kept on moving in a direction and minding my business going on. Because I did my part. I accepted her as a human being. And I spoke. And I had to let it go at that. A lot of us are not in position to do that these days. We're so quick to pass judgment on other people. 
we're not accepting people who are. You know, I have family members who are struggling in different areas for different things, right? You know what I come to grip with? I just got to accept it that that's who they are. You know, in everybody's family, you got that person like to drink. You got that person that like to talk about people. You got that person you can't tell nothing to because they're going to go tell somebody. You got that person who think they know everything. You got that person who will bust you upside your head. You're, you're, but what do you do? You just accept them for who they are and work on you. you work on you and accept people for who they are. Don't try to change them. One of the biggest things that we do in life is we start trying to change people and we can't even fix our own self. So when, they, when we accept people for who they are, then especially when you do it with yourself first, you start accepting who you are. Get to know you so you know you, your flaws. Work on your flaws. But we got to get to a point, and this is for white, black, Asian, uh, Hispanics, all of us, we have to ex learn about acceptance. Accept us for who we are in our culture, our natural being. Let us do this. And we also do this with the children. Let's accept them the way they are. When I say accept them the way they are, I'm talking about with using that, that pure love, that pure common sense. I ain't talking about being disrespectful. I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting nobody disrespecting me. I'm not accepting nobody belittling me. I'm not going to accept nobody making me less than what I am. I have that right. But I also have the, 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 the smart and the intelligence, the love, the wisdom to know that in order to get to know somebody, you got to accept them for who they are and let them show you who they really are. And then accept it if you do want to be around them. And if you don't, then keep it moving. One of my um, wife's grandmother who's deceased, I call her the grandmother. She said, not everybody's going to let you be good to them and let you be nice to them. And when they don't, she said, I just remove myself. And I thought about that. You know what she was doing? She was accepting them that they was in that position and she removed herself from the position having to be in that uncom uncomfortable uh, setting. She accepted that they was probably being ignorant. They, she accepted them they were being loud. They, she was accepting them that they, they were being rambunctious. You know what? But she just removed herself. Acceptance. Acceptance is something we have to learn to do. More so now, especially after the pandemic, it's starting to lighten up. How many of us really can look back and see what we learned about our mates, our friends? I got a friend that's locked up. Guess what? I accepted that he just ain't growing up. He's still doing those crazy things to get him locked up. That's his problem. I accept it for who he is. I love him. I miss him. But I also want him to accept this. I'm not going to be spending my hard-earned money to take care of no dude that's locked up. So he need to accept that. I accepted that he don't mind being locked up. He can accept. It's just, it is what it is. You, when you start seeing people who want to use you, you, you know users. You can see them. A lot of us just don't say nothing. Accept it for who they are. You got, the, you got your hardworking people, and then you got people who just want to ride off people. Accept it. That's their personality. But when you do that, that gives you the leverage to be able to deal with them truthfully when you accept them for who they are. If it's a person that lies all the time, that's all they do is lie. Accept that they're a liar. So now you already know. Cut the conversation and only believe half of what they say. And I wouldn't even believe it 10% what they say and, 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 and what, you know, what they can prove for a fact. You go back and check that out too. You accept it for who they are. So that, that's just part of the topic today, acceptance. All of us. See, one of the things is that we can start looking at people and wanting to change people and try to make them be what we want them to be. And sometimes that can make your life miserable and somebody else's. You're trying to change them. How can you 
not accept a person who's 60, 70, 80 years old and they've been doing the same thing all that time and you 20 years old or you 25 or 30. You have to learn how to accept them. And that's the same thing with us. You know what I realized? When I, I looked at some of the people who are struggling with uh, personality struggles, I'm talking uh, of drinking, drugs, I have to accept them for who they are and understand that by me accepting them and letting them be who they are, they have a better chance of coming to me for help. They have a better chance of getting me to understand why they do the things they do because I put them in a position of where they do not feel they're not being being received. You want your grandchild. I, I was talking to this one young guy. He said that his grandmother don't want him to smoke marijuana in her house. That's what he told me. And so I told him. I said, your grandmother know you smoke, right? He said, yeah. I said, well, then go sit down with your grandmother and, and, and talk to your grandmother and tell your grandmother what it's like when you out in the street. When you can't smoke in your backyard. I'm not telling you your grandma would have to accept you and say she want to be around it. She don't have to let you smoke in the house. But if she accept the fact that you're going to smoke weed anyway, it's better that she put you in a safe zone where she can keep an eye on you. That's what I told him to explain to her. And that's with anything. For any young person that's watching or, or, or going to see this message, go to your parents so that they can accept you for who you are. Be truthful with them on the things that you want to do, the things that you like to do, the things that you don't like, so that they can see exactly who you are, so they can be there to accept you for the truth of who you are. I have to do that. That's, that's something else even in marriage, in relationships. You know what happens? We start off, we, we, we do all these phony things in the beginning, Pumping our chests up, holding the stomach in. Girls got the girdles on and all this stuff. Man, she got the fake nails on and the eyelashes and this and that, this and that. And what happened when she wake up in the morning or on a Saturday morning and she was drunk Friday night? When the, the eyelashes is off, she come out the shower, she done washed all that makeup off. She don't look the same. You have to make a decision. Will you accept her for who she is, for real? And then your relationships, you want relationships to last. Accept people for who they are. You know, you can get in a relationship and you want a person to do this and do that. Guess what? Not everybody's going to be able to do everything that you want them to do. And you're not going to be able to do everything they want you to do. So you have to learn how to accept each other for who you are and what you can bring to the table. That's very, very important. Come on, we're going to go to forgiveness. I'm going to go to forgiveness. <laughs> forgiveness, man. Where do forgiveness start? Forgiveness start, get, you know what? Forgiveness start with self. You really, really have to learn how to forgive yourself. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a preacher. I am not a teacher. I'm just a motivational speaker. So when I talk about these things, I'm pretty much kind of like talking to myself to tell me on how to make myself happier, how to make myself healthier, how to get more peace in my life. But I like sharing it with you. So I do this on people to people. That's in the in my mission statement. We care about your 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 life surroundings, your wellness and things of that nature. So I share these things with you to hopefully that you will take it and then sit down and evaluate yourself and you can figure some things out. Forgiveness. Do you know how many of us punish ourselves because we haven't forgiven ourselves for things that have happened, that we don't know why we did what we did? You know, I don't put other people's business out in the street, but I talk about things that I did. I did a couple of things in my life that I, I wish I could go back and take it back. I did some stuff that people act like they didn't want to forgive me when they played just as much part in it as I did. And they want to still punish me. But you know what I learned to do? I forgive myself. I go to God and I say, God, please forgive me what I did wrong. And, and especially if it was my intention was to hurt them, I ask for forgiveness. Some of the people that I think that I did some things wrong in the life with them, I've called them and talked to them. 
and 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 I felt pretty good because I know I'm not a bad person. I've made some bad judgments in my life, but I've reached out to some people and said, "Yo, um, I want to tell you I'm sorry. I want to let you know that you know I didn't mean to say that to you. I didn't mean to treat you that way. I didn't mean to do those things. You know, because I had to learn to forgive myself." When I went to God and I got down on my knees from doing some things that I wasn't too happy about, I didn't go with the intentions of thinking God wasn't going to forgive me. I just say, I know God's going to forgive me. But do I know really if I'm going to forgive myself or if I'm going to forgive that person who did something to it? Now, let me tell you this. So I was talking to this individual. We was, we was just riding one day. And this individual was telling me, yeah, well, you know what? Man, we got to learn to forgive people. We got to learn how to forgive people for different things, blah, blah, blah. And I say, okay, do you remember that person who did this? Do you forgive that person? And the person that I was talking to got real quiet. They got real quiet. You know why? Because... They found it kind of hard to forgive that person when they, they, they really thought about the situation. But see, all of us are put in a situation where we do some things that we regret. I wanted that person to tell me that they was going to forgive that individual because I know they want God to forgive them. Not that what they did was right. Not what they did didn't hurt. But do you have it in you to forgive? Some things is just unforgivable. Please don't spit on me and don't spit on me on person. I mean, on purpose, because I'm trying to tell you. Some things is just hard for me to forgive you. And I mean, you know, I don't, you, you know, if you step on my shoe and you do it the first time and don't say excuse me. And I say, hey, you stepped on my shoe and they say, oh, and still don't say excuse me. That's I, I, I forgive them. You stub on my shoe the second time, especially in the same day, I'm looking and I say, okay, I know what's happening. They trying to they trying to entice me into a bad situation. But guess what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move away and I'm going to forgive them one more time. Now, they come stub on my shoe the third time. We got a problem. And then I'm going to have to forgive them after I do whatever I do. To respond so they don't stop on my shoe again. But still got to forgive. They might be having a swollen eye, but <laughs> yo, after I, you know, hey. And I'm saying this especially for the family members and loved ones. I was talking to somebody, we was talking about people not forgiving people, and then when they die, they go to their funeral. Why would you go to somebody's funeral that you're not speaking to? Why would you do that? Why would you go disrespect their body like that and their family? If you not forgiving them while they're alive, just go about your business. But if you really want to be uh, 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 somebody true from their emotions and their heart, then forgive them while they're able to hear it. Forgive them, go to them and say, you know, I love you and I forgive you. Now, Forgiveness goes in a certain way. If somebody outright disrespected you, you don't have to go to them. You can accept them that they're ignorant, that they're selfish. Now, when my, we was talking about acceptance, this is where that comes in. If they're prejudiced, you just accept them that they are ignorant and prejudiced and they don't. They don't have lo that love in them. Accept them for who they are. And when you see them going on the, other, on the other side of the street, they don't say nothing to you. They don't bother you. Just stay away from them. And guess what? That's where you show your forgiveness. You say, I forgive them because they, they just some messed up individuals. But you don't have to keep exposing yourself to them. Let me tell y'all, what, what, what I'm hoping for is everybody just hear this message. You might have a loved one that you need to talk to. I've been working on several relationships with several individuals um, around me. And then I got some people who just, they just don't want to be bothered. 
And I'm okay with that. I accepted it. That's acceptance. I got some people who disrespected me. They don't have it in them to, to, to come and ask for forgiveness. I have accepted that. Let it go. Because I'm going to keep it moving. Because I need to take care of me. I have to accept who I am. I got to accept the fact that I want to wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. I got to I got to put myself in a position where I know that it's it's me that got to let go of that negative energy. You know some other things that I had some people that I was expecting them to jump on and want to watch the program and say go Rodney go go Rodney go. No. Nah. Guess what? I come to the acceptance that they are who they are. Half of them may don't care. Half of them probably jealous. Half of them just too tired. Half of them might not even really, really know. But what I don't put myself in a position to really stress over it, and if it's, if it's some people that really, really did to me and it affects me a certain way, if I'm not going to reach out to them and let them know exactly what's on my mind, then I'm going to forgive them as if they don't know any better. So that I can have peace in my heart. It's people to people with Rodney Grimes. And let me tell you something. I forgive everyone who have done wrong to me. I forgive you. I ain't forgot. But I forgive you because I pray for you. I pray that God blesses your soul and puts some happiness in your life. And whatever caused you that turmoil or that discomfort that God works with you. And change you. And give you a point to be able to have acceptance that you violated. Have acceptance that you need to change. Have acceptance that you need to learn forgiveness. This is not directed to anybody specifically. This just might be a message somebody need to hear. Acceptance and forgiveness is very, very important. Not everybody's going to do everything right. There's not a perfect person on this earth. But when you start getting to the point where you can actually look at a person and accept them for who they are. I'm a black man in a country that you can almost do anything you want. But many times you'll find people that would judge me just because of the color of my skin. And won't accept that. That I didn't have a real choice in it. I was born like this. So instead of them looking at me and saying, yo, let me just get to know the person and accept them for who they are and their personality. They start to pass in judgment and stuff and then they, they, they put this crazy wall up. And later on, you know what really happens? When they really, really get to know me, they have to ask forgiveness of themselves from that negative energy. How many parents come at their children and misjudge their children, not accepting them who they are and misjudge them? Later on, that the kids um, have to uh, uh, deal with the trauma because they weren't accepted. And then later on, you find that you, your kid is looking at you like you're crazy and you looking at them, why they don't want to be around you? Because they don't know about acceptance and they don't know about forgiveness because you didn't show them either one. I go back to talking about some of the kids that um, who are struggling with the identity crisis with themselves. Fathers out there see that they uh, have a gay son or a gay daughter and the father and mother start to treat them bad because they don't understand why they do why they doing the things they do. Instead of accepting them for who they are and sitting them down and really trying to understand what struggles they're having so they can understand what they're going through. You'll find that when you do that, then you'll probably look in the mirror and say, man, I got to ask forgiveness because I've been judging them wrong. They're struggling. They're going through this. What about a person who just have a bad attitude all the time? 
Do we accept them? You don't have to accept them and be around them, but accept them that they're going through something. And, and, and keep it moving. Put that forgiveness right there. Say, you know what? I forgive him because he was a little mean to me because I don't know why. Because I had to do that with a lady on the phone today. A couple of days ago, they was talking to me. And um, I, was, I was upset because the way they asked me the questions. And the lady hung up on me. She wasn't going to accept that attitude that I had. So she hung up. Finally, somebody called back. It was another lady. We was talking on the phone. And I tell her, I say, yo, you know, I was having a bad day. She said, Mr. Grimes, that's okay. We all have a bad day. You know what she just did? She accepted, one, she accepted that I was coming to her and I was being humble. She accepted the fact that I recognized. And at that time, we kind of showed forgiveness on both ends and had a very, very nice conversation. It went very well. Family members. Get to a point, accept people for who they are. If you know you got a person that like to start trouble, accept that they're a troublemaker. Keep your distance. Watch what you say and put yourself in a position. Pray for them. Try to lead by example. Forgive them from being who they are and keep it moving. But don't let it disrupt your life. Some people are in situations where you want to know why people act a certain way. Let me tell you something. If you accept them that they bums, you either accept them that they egotistic, you either accept it that they gay, you either accept it that they're lazy, you accept it for what the truth is, and then move on. Move on. It is very, very important. It's very, very important that you learn how to accept people for who they are and also forgive them for who they are as well. A lot of times we're going to blame our kids for certain things, but guess what? Half the kids mimic what they see. My sons, both of my sons, my biological sons, they're pretty good. You know what? My my sons are gentlemen. They'll open the door for a woman. They're going to say, thank you, please. They ain't going to be out here abusing no females physically. They Because they didn't get that from me. They didn't. And they accept me for who I am. I used to be out in the street doing some crazy things. My sons accepted me for the, the, the shortcomings that I've had. We talked about them. And 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 from what I know today, they forgave me. Dad, I forgive you. Don't worry about it. Let's keep it moving. The acceptance and forgiveness is powerful in relationships. Right now, me and my sons, we have a beautiful relationship, and I love them dearly because they're accepting who I am. They're accepting that I'm not this perfect father. They're accepting the fact that I'm not this macho man that's going to do everything right. And the things that I did do that offended them, we talked about, I came to him and I said, yo, I'm sorry. Please accept my apology. And my boys, hey, yo, dad, I forgive you. Don't even worry about it. Now we can sit down and we, I mean, it's, it's really, really good. It's really good. I'm only telling you these things because I want you to have the opportunity to, to find life at, at, his, at his best. Find it at his best. You know, all the people that I've been wanting to come and, and, and help me and, and to, to help me be a better person, yo, you know what I did? I accept them for where they are in this world, the things that they're doing. And I forgive them if they did anything intentionally to hurt me because I am not going to carry that to my grave. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy myself. I was reaching out to a couple of people and they didn't want to respond back to me. Guess what? I had to accept the fact that they didn't want to have anything to do with me. And guess what? A couple of those people did some real foul things to me in my life. But guess what? I forgive them. Accept them for where they are, and I forgive them for what they did. And I hope they accept me for where I am and forgive me for what I did. If I did anything to disrespect them or hurt them. 
And if it's something that really hurt you down in your gut, you know what? I think that you should call a person and tell them. Don't wait till they're dead and land in the casket and go stand over, to- over top of them and say, you're a sorry MF. Or call them the B word under your breath. Because <laughs> believe it or not, ain't nothing you can do to them. If anything, if there's any way they can come back, they could do more damage to you than you could to them. Because if they catch you sitting on the toilet and say, boo, and you see this, that person that was in the casket, you out of here. <laughs> You're going to be gone. <laughs> Heart attack right on the spot. <laughs> so we, <laughs> you know, it's real, right? It's real. So. And for all the people that may just joined in, uh, this is uh, People to People with Rodney Grimes. The topic today is acceptance and forgiveness. And if you want to call in, call in at 703-752-6120. 703-752-6120. But uh, our topic today is acceptance and forgiveness. You got something for me over there, Lady Z? <laughs> Yes, I do. A few comments. Um, First, welcome Rachel and Beth. They are both here. Um, Angel Cook says, amen. She says, judgment, I'm like, I'm like, accept me or reject me. She also says, God judges those the same way you judge others. Walter Shepard is here. He says, good evening, PTP, Rodney, and Zena. Angel Cook, yes, acceptance, and I ask for empathy and communication. I have thyroid disease, which makes foggy brain mess with my message, but well worth one patient in me. She says, wow, great topic, and let's our no be no and our yes be yes. yes. I've set boundaries. Yes. I love it. Awesome, Rodney. I feel you on forgiveness. Rachel says, awesome. Top it. Again, I welcome all those who join in. Please hit like and share. Let people know that you care. This is all about us moving forward, changing the things that we do. Um, it's, it's, it's about acceptance. I accept you for who you are. I accept you for what you are. You have to either accept me or keep it moving. You know they got something going on TikTok. It's saying, it's a song now saying, if you don't like what I'm doing or something, delete me. I I don't know if if you see it. It's it's something on there um, people are doing, right? If you don't like what I'm doing, just delete me. Let me tell you something. Where we are today... As individuals, if we in our relationships, we have to accept people that they are who they are. If you've been with somebody for 15 years and they still throw their socks on the side of the bed, right? Or they still don't wash the dishes behind themselves. You have to accept them. That that's who they are. They either don't like washing dishes or they don't like when to pick their socks up. They don't want to pick up behind themselves. When you accept them for who they are, guess what? Then you get to a point you say, you know what? I ain't even going to worry about it. Keep it moving. And then that's where you find a situation to be able to easily forgive them when they do something to irritate you. Because you accept them for who they are. And it's always best to go and be straightforward. Yes mean yes. And no means no. Either I like you, love you, or I hate you, don't want to be bothered. It's nothing where you're going to have an in-between. You accept people for who they are. And you have to meet people pretty much where they are in their life on how you accept them. I'm going to talk about a guy who is struggling. I'm not going to say his name, but he's struggling real bad. And his problem is he don't know what to say out his mouth sometimes. But what I realized after I evaluated him from my perspective, 
Not as a doctor, not as a psychologist or something like that. I just evaluated him from my perspective. And guess what I realized? He's a lonely person. And when I accepted him for who he was, I was able to go to him and talk to him. And I was able to realize that he really didn't mean no harm. And all those other times where I was getting mad at what he was saying to other people and even saying to me sometime, I realized that I had to forgive him. Because when I looked at him and really watched him and evaluated him, I was like, man, he's really just, he just crying out. Accept him for who he is, his situation. I'm not going to talk about this guy individually and his circumstances, but he, he's in a very awkward position. And when you accept a person for where they are and what they're dealing with at that time, it gives you a better understanding about them as an individual. Can you imagine what it's like for a person who's laying in the bed, you call them, you ain't been over there to see them in six, seven months, you don't know that they can't roll over and wash their own butt right now? And then what you want to do is you want to still pass judgment, still accepting them for who they are? And then what you do, you want to start uh, uh, talking bad about them or whatever. When a lot of times that's going to put you in a position where you're going to be wrong. But if you just accept a person for where they are at that time, if a person in a bad mood, this is what I do when I go into a store. Somebody starts being mean to me, I say, you must be having a bad day. They look at me, excuse me? I said, I just said, you must be having a bad day because you're being, you're being kind of rude to me. And they look at me, I'm not having a bad day. you having a bad day. You know what I do right then? I just accepted the fact that they're rude. They're having a bad day. They want to be mean. So you know what I do? I just start smiling to them and say, guess what? I love you. God bless you. Go on out the door. I go out the door and forgive them as I go out for their rudeness. Because I ain't going to carry it with me for it to, to, to carry my day down. I'm not going to let them disrupt my life. I, I was thinking about some uh, uh, associates. I don't even want to call them friends who I've helped out many, many times trying to do some things. And I've reached out to them on several occasions to do some things for me, and they didn't do it, right? And I got in my feelings. I got in my feelings. And guess what? Deep down inside, they really don't know that I got in my feelings because guess what? I didn't call and tell them. But you know what I did do? I just accepted the fact that they really don't see me the way I want them to. I just accepted the fact that they're not going to come when I call. I accepted the fact they're not going to give me what I want. And I keep it moving. I always think about how I want God to treat me, Jah. How do I want Jah to treat me? I, 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 I want to be able to go to him and he accept me for my flaws and accept me that I'm not perfect. And when he accept me, I want him to forgive me when I don't do everything he want me to do right. I want him to say, you know what, Rodney, I forgive you because you 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 told a lie or you you didn't give you told that person you ain't had no money when you had money in your pocket or or you 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 did something that wasn't respectful to your marriage or your your mother sister your brother when i go to god i say god please forgive me for all my sins and i want him to forgive me so bad because i want to be blessed but you know what i have to also have acceptance. I have to accept that I reap what I sow. I have to accept the fact that sometimes when you make your bed, you have to lay in it. Sometimes it's up to us as individuals to accept the truth about who we are and how we've treated people and what we've given to people and how we have set the example for those that they may not understand the word forgiveness yet. Accept it and accept where they are. In their life. All of these things can make a difference. 
I'm hoping today that I reach somebody. I'm hoping that I got it to a point where, you know, we talked about today f- acceptance and forgiveness. Learn how to forgive yourself. Learn how to forgive your loved ones. Learn how to forgive those people who have ignorance in their everyday life. Forgive them. Keep it moving. Keep on going. Don't put yourself in a position where you let them start to steal your joy. People to people with Rodney Grimes. Motivation Monday. We have Let's Talk About It Wednesday. We get ready. I was just talking to uh, uh, Christy Love. Uh, uh, um, I got to reach out to the, the life coach, Hanadi, hoping that uh, we're going to bring them back in and we're going to work on some things. Uh, shout out to... Uh, uh, Ehab and Michael and uh, uh, Cookie and Dante, all the people, Aladdin, all the people, uh, 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 Patrick Williams, Andrew Clark, uh, the whole intelligent office family. Shout out to all the people who are trying to do things and make difference in people's lives and, and, and make strides and things of that nature. And, and, and you know what? I accept all of you. I accept all of you for who you are. I accept you for who you are. Please accept me who I am. And if I did any wrong to you, I apologize. I ask for your forgiveness. If you did something wrong to me, I forgive you. Just don't do it again. I mean, you know, you, you, you can step on me once and I say, okay. You step on me twice, I'm going to look at you with that side eye you step on me the third time, we got a problem. So the first time, I didn't accept it that you made a mistake. The second time, I'm going to accept the fact that you are just being ignorant. And if you do it the third time, I'm going to accept the fact that I'm going to jail. <laughs> just trying to put a little humor in there. Just keeping it real. You feel me? It is what it is. Let us make a difference. The pandemic area, I think that God wanted all of us to come to a point of understanding and seeing where we are. A lot of us changed. I know I have. I changed in so many ways. I found myself looking at people and stop trying to make people be what I want them to be and accept them with just who they are. I have a person that I've been watching doing some fantastic things. They've been growing and growing and growing. Uh, We used to have conversation. We don't have it anymore. You know why? Because I didn't want to accept that that person was moving on. I didn't want to accept that that person was making things better for them. Right? But when I accepted that, I was able to forgive them, even with the things that they did that didn't help me, the things that hurt me. I started to find love for them and smile when I think about them. You know, I want them to succeed. I really do. So to a lot of us out there, when you start to understand about forgiveness, understand about acceptance, you know you got some guys that don't know how to communicate. Accept the truth that they're not good communicators. You got people who don't know how to lead. They're not leaders. Accept the truth. They're not good leaders. Just accept them for who they are. If you got a brother that's doing drugs or alcoholic or he's abusing himself in some kind of way, guess what? Accept the fact that he got a problem. You don't have to accept the fact that he's using the drugs, but accept that he got a problem. And try in your heart to find that forgiveness so that you could do something to help them instead of judge them. Because you never know, that one person may be the one person that might going to have to wipe your behind because all of a sudden you can't walk. Or they may have to take you across the street because you lose your sight. We never know what tomorrow holds. People to people with Rodney Grimes. Our topic today was about acceptance, about forgiveness. Learn to forgive yourself. Learn to forgive those around you. Learn to accept people for who they are. 
I don't mean to be rude to anybody, but you know, some of the things that I check out, I see some movies I can't watch because I don't want to accept nobody trying to belittle me. But what I do is those people that I know are connected, I learn to forgive the ones that I know didn't do anything to me, if that makes sense. I don't like watching slave movies. My wife already know. If I come in there and they beating a black man and he tied up or they get around to hang him or they trying to humiliate him, I turn it off. I don't accept stuff like that. I don't, because that's not, I, I, I don't believe in it. Now, check this out. I, I, work with me so you can understand the difference between acceptance and forgiveness, how it works. So when I see that stuff, it hurts my heart. It really hurts me to realize that people have treated other human beings like that. But then when I see somebody who looked like that person who was on that show the next day in the grocery store, am I to be in a position to pass judgment on them? Or do I accept the fact that they just happen to be of the same culture and the same race? And say, look, what happened then happened then. I'm okay today. I forgive them for what they did to those people. As long as they don't try it again. And I keep it moving. I hope that I kind of broke that down. Where you can see things that really bother you. And you got to know whether you're going to accept it or not. Or if you're going to expose yourself to it or not. I don't watch the movies because it don't do no good for me. So I don't accept that. When I, be, when I become this multi-millionaire that I'm trying to be, I'm going to make that movie where it's going to be, I'm going to show you what it's like to be a human. I'm, that's going to be one of my, mu my, my movies. What is it like to be a human? Everybody's going to be having a good time. Everybody's going to be sharing their food and loving. They're going to be running down the beach butt ball naked. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, some people take that the wrong way. See, I know some people out there already say, oh, Lord, there you go. No, when I say that, that means you just accept people for who they are. Big bellies, one long, one, one breast longer than the other. You know, guy ain't got no teeth. You know, one of them got a, a, a crooked big toe. You just accept them. Let them be who they are. Let it keep it, just, just keep on going. You don't know, they be the one that can cook the best chicken. Make that good potato salad. You be like, man, his big toe turned out all the way the other direction. But did you taste his potato salad? <laughs> okay, I'm just messing with you. I'm telling you, I just love, I just trying to keep it real. But I want everybody to remember, yo, uh, People to People is the People Podcast. We are renting space. We are available here. We're at 1934 uh, Old Gallows Road, Suite 304, um, Tyson's Corner. Uh, we have a full set facility that's available. Uh, if you know someone who's looking for a location to have office space, the intelligence office is an amazing place to come out. The setting is phenomenal. Um, free parking. Um, you're right here in that in the area, right across the street from Tyson's Corner, um, and it's 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 phenomenal individuals out here. And for all those people that's from different other areas, listen, yo, let's come together, accept us for who we are, accept each other, let us show love and forgiveness for each other, so we can move forward. I don't think God put us on this earth to be mean and suffering. I really don't. It's just those people who don't know how to accept people for the truth and forgive people with an open heart. That makes sometimes life so hard. Just think about your kids when they're growing up. Go to them where they are. Accept them for who they are. And start to talk to them. If you got a, a child that stays in trouble always trying to destroy things and break things and things of that nature, guess what? You need to accept that you got one of them baby kids <laughs> and take a belt <laughs> and whoop his behind or her behind so that they will have to come back 
and say, I forgive you for for tearing my butt up because now I understand that you did it out of love. You see how that works? You see how that works? I know these certain people. I know I know I know some of them. I got some of them in my family. You, you you know, we just have to get to a point where you say, you know what, it is what it is. I accept it that that's who they are. I know I got to watch them when I'm around them. That's it. And keep it moving. Remember, the cash app is uh, the dollar sign RG1960. I appreciate all the people who make donations to our program. We are... Uh, uh, in the process of everything, I, I'm sure maybe hopefully in another week we will be able to tell you 100,000% of our status as an LLC or nonprofit. Um, we have some plans coming up. Um, shout out to Darlene Smith uh, and uh, to uh, Christ, Crystal Nicole, uh, Rev Gotti, Fat Man down in Baltimore. Uh, to uh, Aladdin, all these individuals, I'm calling these names out because I know that we, it's some things get ready to happen. I just feel the energy in the air. Uh, shout out to the team here at the People People at the People to People Studio. All my guests who tune in on regular, I appreciate you. I appreciate your support, and that's why I keep doing this every day because I know y'all accept y'all in that area where y'all accept the fact that this is what I do and I accept the responsibility remember Motivation Monday we come on it's to motivate you we have different topics coming up also I want to let y'all know on the 16th um, I have uh, Mr. Jerry McMillan coming on he is going to be the first black Sheriff of Fat Facts. Is it the 16th or the 9th? Wait a minute. It's the 16th, right? I want to make sure that I said that right. Oh, no, no, no. It's the 9th. It's the 9th that uh, uh, Jerry McMillan will be here. Uh, he's running for the office to be the first black sheriff. I am so excited about that, um, and that's going to be phenomenal. And then we got, um, uh, on the 16th, it's going to be uh, the Canna Village. Um, that's an orphanage uh, an organization that's going to be here. Um, that's going to be another phenomenal opportunity to get some real good information about things that's going on in the DMV. Um, we also have on uh, the 23rd, uh, Mr. Sherman Harris is going to be back in the studio with us, an amazing man of God, a prophet who has uh, transformed into a true leader toward the Lord. I'm telling you, this is phenomenal. Um, that's going to be another exciting uh, program. Um, we're working on some other things that's coming up. And uh, I'm just happy to be in this position to help uh, uh, do some things to help people to promote themselves. Uh, I got uh, some uh, different music artists going to be coming in. Uh, um, I'm working on uh, making this plateau for them so that they can come out and they can expose their music, their arts, their skills. Uh, um, Shout out to Mark, Mark Durrett, uh, another brother that uh, we are kind of playing phone tag hand there. I'm going to bring one of his artists on um, to uh, help promote. Skitter Scat, much love. Christy, Christy Love from Free Flow. Um, remember, y'all can go to her page and, and uh, check her out. Uh, I said Christy Love is Christy McMillan on Free Floor. Sorry about that. Christy Love is with people to people. <laughs> okay, do for correction. Um, but uh, okay, so we get ready to shut it down. I appreciate everybody that tuned in. Remember, 
it's about acceptance. It's about forgiveness. And, and, and you need to learn how to do that and make sure that you are trying to be the best you can be. You put your mind to it. Anything that you can conceive, you can achieve. Remember that. It's up to you. I love you. Peace and blessings. Y'all be safe.